I am Sir Tap Tap. Let's play a creepy game, shall we? This is Mushroom Combat. And it's available in English or Russian? I don't know. Something in Cyrillic letters. I don't know if anything else uses Cyrillic letters. And I don't know what flag that is, honestly. So let's just play good old English. It's loading. It's got some sort of ad. That's partially in Cyrillic stuff. Light and darkness. Legend of the big sword. Weird hair guy. Cube elephant thing presented by Chatoya Hotel presents Ellipses and Mushroom Combat, yeah! Somebody vomited mushrooms all over my screen. That's, that's just great. Well, as you can see, we've got some vomit, we've got some mushrooms, we've got a Goomba up top right there, or top center, and we've got a very disturbingly happy young man over here at the left side there. That's kind of disconcerting. We're going to plant medium quality, because my computer sucks. And that's pretty much all we can do. New game! That was a really loud computer. So we're like, salad fingers, like, basement living cousin. I can deliver that. Rabbit? Error one. Hello? Ill-fitting music, go! Refrigerator, eat, oh, don't, don't eat that, no, oh, I don't like this game anymore. Oh my, that is, that is slightly disconcerting. So we're some sort of super crazy psycho guy that's very happy and likes mushrooms. Well, to move and jump, jump. Uh, oh, okay, arrow keys to move and jump, that's an odd way to, yeah, never mind. Jump at the top of mushrooms to destroy them. Might want to get someone to double check the English on here, but I can tell what you're saying, but still. Escape to pause game. Save lives, be careful, and protect hero from mushrooms. I I don't think this guy needs any protecting, really. You know, unless it's, you know, as a burden of the state or something. Stay at level before timer expires. See, that's what I'm talking about, not quite the best way to word that sentence. Destroy mushrooms and get points to unlock a medal! Yeah! Medals! Like fart out cl clouds of dust from the soles of our feet every time we jump. So that's always fun. And we hang in midair. That was some sweet hang time. Get it? Never mind. Sport. Sport. We got like mushroom blood all over our feet, so that's great. Though mushrooms are fungus, so they don't really have blood. We've got some Goombas, we've got some crazy psycho mushrooms that jump. Never liked crazy psycho mushrooms. Not a big fan, not a big fan. Boink. So yeah, we get crazy sweet multipliers. It reminds me of... what's it called? Press space to continue. Uh, Indestructa tank, or however that was worded. That tank game where you bounce on enemies and stuff. So, yeah, that was fun times. Hey, it's, uh, coin block dudes. It's shooting money at me. Why do I have a feeling that collecting that money will hurt me or kill me or... I don't know. Sport. For some reason, my computer runs this even crappier than it usually does. It usually doesn't have a problem with flash as long as it's not on the highest quality setting. Hippo! Yeah! We get that because we have big feet or something. I don't I don't really understand the logic behind that. Or maybe hippos are famous for stomping lots of mushrooms. I don't I'm not aware of these preconceived notions about hippos. And I have a feeling that the green guys are supposed to be a reference to something, but I don't I don't know quite what. Paranoia land. Why is this called Paranoia Land, anyway? Is the CIA watching me? I, I, this is... Oh my god, it's, it's Snow Legs. Snow Legs, you're so adorable. Oh, I don't want to stomp you, but I have to. That is pretty awesome, though. Whee! I found out about this game from the uh, Epic Battle Fantasy um, Facebook page. So I had to give it a look. There was supposed to be a bunch of Epic Battle Fantasy references, and there's definitely no legs. So that's pretty sweet. I have lots of lives, fortunately. 
silly new legs. And I don't know what... I don't know which ones of these are all supposed to be references or not. Maybe all of them are references, like the blue swirly dudes. I don't know if that's a reference or not. Like, some of them, they all look like something that could be references, but... Like the Psycho Mushrooms, I assume, are original content. I don't quite know. Look at this guy just happily power walk along. This guy... Oh my god, head grabs. That is awesome. This game is pretty freaking awesome now. It's got head crabs and... Oh god, that is unsettling. It's got whatever the hell these are. It's also got lag time, yeah. Head crabs and no legs are pretty freaking awesome. Don't know what the... I don't know. I assume the exceedingly creepy ones are all, like, original to this game or something. Because the creator seems to like that sort of stuff. If you know what I mean. Giggity. But... Would you please stop staring directly into my soul, Mr. Booger Green guy? That's... I don't... I don't enjoy that. No one enjoys that. Just... Just stop what you're doing. Oops. Level complete. Paranoia Land. Why are we still in Paranoia Land? On the last level of each location, there is a special mushroom. Just killing it, you can open new levels. So, that means it's a boss, I assume? Rush mushrooms increase... Bleh. Red mushrooms indicates life of special mushroom. <laughs> and each jump on it destroys mushrooms one by one. I'm supposed to jump on a giant piranha plant mushroom? You know what happens when you jump on a piranha plant? You die. That's that's what happens. Don't jump on prawn plants, kids. Okay, let's kill this special prawn plant. Oh, I see. I figured he must attack somehow. Uh, I guess he's just gonna keep respawning like that. He's got invincibility frames. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> he just blanks for no reason. Oh well. Dead. Oh, no, he does have invincibility frames. Okay, but now he's dead. Alright. Now we're finally out of Paranoia Land. Paranoiac. Um, what is that? That creepy Mario mushroom? Sewerage. Sewerage. What? We've got, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle yellow guys. And these things look like the little uh, chompy monsters in uh, Gish. The little dog things. I mean, it doesn't have the same shape, but the mouth and the color scheme certainly reminds me of it. I don't know if it is a reference or not, but... And those, the Ninja Turtle looking things seem very familiar, but I can't pin down exactly what they're from. I'm assuming they're not supposed to be Ninja Turtles. So they're not the, quite the right skin color and stuff. But I was told this game is supposed to have lots of game references, and that certainly seems to be the case. Why does it hang so much? It's terrible. Anyway. I'm not re-recording it, so whatever. Sewerage 2! Maybe it's Sewer Rage! Rage of the Sewers, whoa. It's, um... Crap, what game has those? It was right at the tip of my tongue. Oh, hey, it's, um... Buzzy Beetles or something. Dr. Mario, that's what these are from. They're the viruses from Dr. Mario. The red ones, of course. And I at least assume these are supposed to be the Buzzy Beetles from Mario. They have the shell that looks just like that. They don't have the spooky red eyes, though. But spooky red eyes certainly go with this game, so can't fault them for that. Maybe they should be spooky beetles. Oh, spooky! Spooky beetles! Oh, fail. Oh well. Do my lives... I think my lives carry over, so... Yeah. Because I don't think I got hit three times this level, did I? It'd be very hard to get hit ten times on a single level. Sewer Rage! I don't know if it's supposed to be Sewer Rage, Sewer Age, or Sewerage. 
sewerage is probably the worst amount I've ever heard. It's more, um, viruses. Just I'm pretty dang sure these are supposed to be more. Yeah, they're the... What are you? Mr. Red Three-Eyed Orange Thing. Definitely not red, you're orange. But still, he must die. And shoot lasers! Why don't I get to shoot lasers? I never get to shoot lasers. Mumble grumble. Anyway, this game is pretty dang fun. Um, I probably should have played it at low quality. Or maybe it just is inefficient, I don't know. I haven't, you know, benchmarked the crap out of it either. But it's pretty dang fun. And all the styles of mushrooms and all the references are pretty cool, even if I don't get all of them. Yeah! Sewer Rage 4. We'll get to the end of Sewer Rage 5. We'll call it a day. It's Salad Fingers! Haha! -ha. I was wondering if they were going to reference that, because this game certainly reminds me of it. Maybe it's done by... I don't know if it's done by the same people. I don't... I don't recognize the creator, and I don't know who exactly made... It's Gish! Ha! Yeah, that's why I thought those little things were the Gish monsters. Because the creator of this certainly seems like they would enjoy Gish. It's got the same creepy psycho stuff in it. I miss Gish. They made a Gish mobile, and I got it for Android, but it's... Hard as crap to control, honestly. Not that the the original Gish was very fun and everything, but the controls were odd. But it was also one of the very first physics-based games that I ever played. In fact, I think it was the like very first significantly physics-based game that I played with good-ish physics, especially good tar blob physics. <clears throat> I never played a game with quite as good tar blob physics as Gish. Hey, Mr. Salad Fingers. Oh, the crap are you? Boink. Yeah. Oh, you bounce on the edges of the screen. I just wrap around like a noob. Do those hurt? Yes, those hurt. I don't know what the gas mask creepy guy is supposed to be from. I do like that there's tons of references, though, and it gives some nice variety to what, you know, the, the different kinds of enemies is really fun, but I gotta say, the the game wouldn't be as visually as interesting without, let's set the quality to low, Looks definitely want to play in English. Okay, that seems like that's right there. What's bonus? What do we got bonuses for? We got mushroom things. Plumber, paranoiac, blood, yeah. Oh, we got costumes. That's what I was thinking. Those must be costumes because we got the Mario thing. Oh, hey, it lists what they're a parody of. We're gonna be Mario. And go back. Archive. Yeah, that's our bestiary. It's stoned. Uh, I I figured it would list what game there. Yep, I told you that was a Buzzy Beetle. Huh? And that's a yellow virus. It. Without the... with a different profile... See, I told you! I told you! That's right. And see, that guy wasn't a reference. And neither was that. See, I have a good-ish feel for what the creator created, because they look... just kind of crazy psycho. And the creator seems to like really crazy psycho. Star Cat! His name is No Legs. Thank you, sir. And Bullet Heaven was certainly not the first game he was in. Head Crab! Yeah! Piranha. Stalker. Oh. Well. No wonder I didn't get what that's a reference to. It wasn't a reference. So I guess I've gotten every reference so far, except for this guy. Which... If I had seen the profile of, you know, the yellow virus, I'm sure I would have noticed it. Anyway, my hand is actually getting tired, so we're gonna call it a video.